So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 21 blade. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then this vinyl boot liner, which would have been an additional extra. Uh, and then if you lift up this carpet section, even more space underneath that as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 5,219. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel. So uh, various different bits of driving and car fuel economy information. Uh, the buttons I was using for that are just here. Uh, we have different menus available as well. So every push of that button, we have satellite navigation, your vehicle and user settings as well. Uh, also over on that side of the steering wheel, we have cruise control and speed limiter. On the left hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, including voice activation. Hit that button, ask it to call anyone in your uh, contacts list. It'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired the phone up, and that is done over on the touch screen just here. So you'd hit all menus and then the phone icon and follow the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to music in this car, we've got the radio, of course. Uh, the volume for the radio is just there, as you can see. Uh, we have DAB, FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Uh, we've got the media heading, which is grayed out at the moment, but you can connect up. Uh, various different types of devices. So for example, uh, USB, auxiliary input, Bluetooth audio as well. And if you connect up your smartphone, we have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay both available on top of that. If I pop the car in reverse, you'll also see we have a full color reversing camera. And if we swipe across this way, satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how the sat-nav works on our website and on our YouTube channel. Working our way down, we then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the fan speed up and down. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. That button turns your air conditioning on and off again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. And then under that, two 12 volt charging sockets, the auxiliary and USB inputs, a six speed manual gearbox, and these buttons here. So you can turn the parking sensors on and off. You can turn the stop and start on and off. Uh, and these two buttons will turn on downhill brake control, and also put the steering into either sport or normal. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.